Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. GCW, Scene of the Crime Review. It's going to run down this card real quick here. Um, really great shows. Last night, or Friday night in um, Atlanta. This one is in Orlando. Um, definitely some uh, great talent from New South there as well. We had the first match, we had a scramble match. We love our scramble matches in any game changer wrestling. We had Yoga. Versus that different boy, Jimmy Lloyd, Yuya Uemura, Ty Hall, Hunter Drake, and Mr. Danger. Hunter Drake, one of the New South talents there. Um, great scrum match, Jimmy Lloyd, who's a different boy, Jimmy. Jimmy fucking Lloyd getting the victory there at a three and a quarter star match. Next up, we had Tony Deppin versus Robert Martyr. Robert Martyr, if you've never watched him, I've watched him on several different companies now. He, uh, very talented. He kind of fits in that category with me as a Titus Alexander and Alec Price, kind of the up and coming, going to be, could be a big star someday. Going up against the gatekeeper of GCW, um, Tony Deppin. Tony Deppin did get the victory. I gave it three and a quarter. Um, next up, we had Culture Inc. versus Los Macisos. Um, now, if you have never seen Los Macisos, where you been? Uh, Culture Inc. Um, definitely have followed them throughout the Northeast and the Southeast. Um, an uber talented tag team, which there is so many talented tag teams out there. Um, but Culture Inc. Eli Knight and Malik Pasadi Bus um, going against Los Macisos. Yeah, Cicope, Medio Extremo, they get a little extreme. They get, they like their doors and their chairs, and they like to play with some plunder. Um, but Los Macisos getting the victory here. Um, I gave it three and a half. Next up, we had a nice little Lucha Libre match. We had Iris and Rich Swan. Really good match. Uh, Iris getting the victory. I gave it three star. Next up was just kind of stupid. Um... Sumi Sakai and Paro, um, just, yeah, this made not a lot of sense. Paro was just trying to destroy Sumi Sakai, threw her in the chairs a couple times, and then Jimmy Lloyd came out to help her. Jimmy basically became a two-on-one handicap match, and Sumi Sakai somehow pinned Paro. There was ten minutes of just, like, crap, to be honest with you. I give it to him in order. Uh, next up, my favorite match of the night. Of course, this guys have been some of my favorite independent wrestlers for a long time now. We had Blake Christian, who storyline heel right now. I love it. Um, he's getting booed. He's just kind of cocky and everything. He's got that uh, championship um, opportunity in his pocket and going up against Alex Zane, the sauce. From your local Taco Bell drive through Six he weighs 600 Taco, Bell, Taco Supremes. These two, when they, they talk about it in the show, about how many matches they've had against each other and who's won and stuff. I would compare Blake Rush and Alex Zane to a Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn. Not quite on the 20-year history, but on the recent history in the last five years or so. Because they've tagged together. They've had matches together. They've tagged together. It's almost like if you need a tag team, put Christian and Zayn together. Hey, if you need a 20-minute match... It's going to be really good. Go put Blake Christian and Alex Zane out there and let them go. Um, 20 minutes, four star match. Blake, or uh, sorry, Alex, yeah, Blake Christian getting the victory. Um, just unbelievable. Um, great match. These two guys just go out there and put on a show. It's, it's tremendous. Um, again, four star with that. Um, when, when my bet, the matter of fact, that is match of the night, actually. So um, next up, we had a six person tag team match. We had. Thrussy versus Brad Pack. Thrussy is Alley Catch, Dirk Sheik and Effie, and the Brad Pack is Billy Starks and Brogan Finley, and they teamed up with Cole Ratter, the Ratty Daddy. Um, great match. I mean, it's cool that we've seen Billy Starks on AEW. We have seen um, Blake Christian on Ring of Honor. We have seen... Um, some of the, who else is on this card was on the other, I don't think that's the only one on this card that we've seen on there. We've seen other talent from Game Changer, um, Jack Cartwright and all of them on AEW television. It's been really cool. This is a pretty good match, actually. Um, these, uh, six-person tag matches can go pretty cool. Uh, this match was won by Thrusty. 
I like that start shaking up. Yeah, I give it three and a half. I was intrigued by it. It was really good. Next up, we had the Jersey Championship Wrestling, which is a sister company in the Game Changer Wrestling. The Jersey Championship Wrestling Championship on the line. I believe it was the sixth time that Jordan Oliver has defended the title versus Shihiro Iri, who is the WXW champion. Almost became a double champion. Um, but yeah, Jordan Oliver went out there and took it to him, was able to beat him and retain that JCW title. Um, I definitely look big things for Jordan Oliver. He has grown so much in the last three years. I think I started following him around 2019, 20, eh, I want to say it's pre-pandemic in Orlando at the um, um, collective. I believe it was the first collective. Ooh. I believe it was Orlando because it was outside. It was really cool to see him and how good he, you know, what he was going to become. He's one of those guys that wouldn't be shocked if he got to a bigger promotion someday. But I want him to stay on the Indies the same way. That's what I love about AEW is you can have people come to Game Changer Wrestling and then also work at AEW and Ring of Honor. Um, Jordan Oliver getting in the victory there. Good 20 minute match, three and a half stars. And then our main event was for the Game Changer World Heavyweight title. We had champion Masha Slamovich versus Sawyer Wreck. Um, good match. Um, Sawyer Wreck ended up winning, or sorry, uh, losing by referee decision. Masha Slamovich getting the victory. And uh, Masha Slamovich gets the victory. Then after the match, we had... Blake Christian come out and kind of tease him cashing in his little um, brass ring, his title opportunity he's got. He still has yet to cash it in. She ended up choking him out, which is kind of funny. Um, but yeah, I know Nick Gage is shooting for her, Blake Christian is shooting for her, so we'll see where that all goes and how long she can hold that title. Um, but still, you're a game changer, world heavyweight champion, Masha Slemovich. That was Scene of the Crime, Game Changer Wrestling from Saturday night. Uh, make sure if you haven't already, check out the showcase of the independence and then the WrestleMania weekend. WrestleMania weekend is all the collective, all of WrestleCon from last year, this year, including WrestleMania, Ring of Honor, etc. Also, the showcase of the independent is the best of independent companies from last year. I did that back in January. I'll be doing that again this coming January. And then all of Game Changer Wrestling as well reviews best of Game Changer 2020, 2021, 2022, all there as well. Um, as you can tell, I'm a Game Changer Wrestling fan. Um, best of available here on our Sports Show. Review every show so far in 2023. We'll continue that as well. As what is that big old tournament? we got a tournament coming up. If I, if I remember correctly, let's go ahead and look that up here real quick. Go ahead and pimp that a little bit for them. Mm -hmm. So what is that? Bama Palooza. Bama Bamboozle. Bamboozle Festival. Excuse me. Bamboozle Festival. Day 1, 2, and 3, 5, 6, and 7 in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Who can we be outside on the boardwalk? Because I love that in the background, the Atlantic Ocean. Alright, that is Game Changer Wrestling. Seat of the Crime Review. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show and don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day, Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports channel content.